Hello guys, welcome to another um band love for education music activity. Today we're going to do a repeated bass activity. So for this activity, we're going to explore band love by browsing some repeated bass loops and drag it into the mixer editor in band love for music education. So let's begin. First, uh, make sure that you are in the right website so it's band love for music education so it's letter e d u dot bandlove.com as you can see here on top then click login put your email and of course your password then click your class if you have let's say um multiple classes in your account so you need to choose your class if you have only one so it's okay it's not a problem so click your class and so this is our activity repeated base 22 so after that you need to click start assignment then choose teacher's assignment the template is already given to you so you don't need to change anything and here um on the right side of your mixer editor you will be able to see all the instructions first you need to click start assignment which we already did then select teacher's assignment then open mix editor which we already did the template is already given so don't delete the guitar track so what you're going to do guys is just choose any repeated bass loop that would match to this guitar loop then after that add your drum loop so let's do that now so for you to be able to find the loops you're going to browse at the bottom of your mixer editor and so you can see here there's um lyrics notes loops collaborators and midi mapping so you're going to click loops there you go and just choose loops and here you have all the options then you can filter that choose instruments and click bass there you go and um let's listen first to our guitar loop here okay that's our guitar loop so let's try to find a, a very nice bass line here let's see if this one would fit Now it's not beautiful, so let's delete that. Right click and delete track. By the way, guys, make sure to do this activity um in your computer, PC or laptop. Okay, for iPad, um sometimes you know most of my students encountered some problems. So let's find another one. Let's try this one. Okay, chill wave. Okay, guys, Chillwave is very good for this um guitar loop. Um, so I, in my opinion, this is really good. So if you want to change, it's up to you. Just find some bass loops in C major. You can see here C. Then I'll just duplicate this. So click the track, press Alt on your keyboard, then click and drag. There you go. I have already my bass loops. So let's listen. Okay, cool. Then the last step is let's check our assignment. Okay, and the next step is add your drum loop. So let's go back again to loops and let's find a drum loop. Let's use filter and click drum. Drum and let's find let's let's choose chill wave to make it easy. Cool. Okay, let's duplicate that and let's put it here. There you go. You're already done with your repeated bass activity. 
If you would like to explore more, feel free to do that. You can change the instruments or you can add more instruments. Okay, so um, once you've already completed all the tracks that you should put in this um, mix editor, don't forget, guys, edit first, listen. And once you're already satisfied with your work, that's the time that you can click submit. Then go over your mouse to the right side of your mix editor and click submit. You can add your note here. For example, my repeated base activity. Then click submit. Okay, it's processing. It might take like a couple of minutes. So in my case, I have really good internet connection. So my work is ready. Okay, there you go. So I hope this helps. So good luck and keep making music. Bye-bye.